everyone. Another incredible day in markets. We are continuing to see markets rally and give us exactly what our powerful strategies indicated in advance. Now, if you take a very look at the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that we have a TRP buy signal on the daily chart that we continue to follow through and, of course, have of course fulfilled the target one, the midline, and the target two. Now, after Tuesday's CPI dip in the market, we did see a change in the slope of the time frames under the daily. And of course, you've got the four hour chart looking out three to five days. It did get a TRP sell, but the primary direction is still up. So as the primary direction is still up, we're not interested in actually taking anything on the short side on a swing basis until of course we see the daily chart crack that channel's trend. As of now, the four hour chart very clearly has gotten back on a buy signal. Now that is as of yesterday and you can continue to see an open target one and of course target two for the ES up in the upper five thousands. When we take a look at the way the market behaved today and look at the buy signal that came in right over there as you can see we have continued to rise on the fast speed line and we did receive with the trp buy in a rising channel rising trend the trp momentum crossover however the problem with the momentum crossover very simply is that we are in a spot that is expensive already we are already in a uppermost quadrant area. Now that's not the end of the world, but that is of course us coming to the table saying there's a continuation here. On a one hour time frame, a continuation is fine as long as we've got plenty of room on the four hour momentum crossover and that is the case. Now folks that have been listening into videos just like these and having a gander at powerful straightforward strategies you get a signal and you follow the rules with the signal. Is the channel sloping up? Did you get your momentum crossover dot in the right spot, centered to slightly above? There then is a higher probability to at minimum meet that target one, likely, if not the midline. And of course, depending on how that momentum came to play, target twos can be in sight. Now, if we take a look at how the market effectively has given us intraday opportunities, not just swing. I turn your attention to the right hand side of the screen where we can look at the five minute chart. Now going from earlier today, getting to that midday point, you can see that the channel was changing its slope. We did get a TRP buy signal there, not the one that has all of what we need to support up, up and away. We wanted to get a rising channel, which is what we had, where we got that next TRP buy signal. And we did get the momentum crossover dot, as you can see right there. And that momentum crossover dot came in the upper quadrant. Nonetheless, the market gave us what we were looking for after our powerful strategies indicated in advance that it was likely to deliver. Now we did get up to the midline target, a very common area, got a TRP sell on that five minute chart of the ES again, and this is leading in towards the end of the day. Now what's the sell signal in an uptrend? An opportunity to rebuy if we break above. Now into the wee last bits of the day, of course, we did get a dip into the channel, another TRP buy and a bounce right back up, and we did come up above that sell signal, ending the day, with the five minute chart, the one hour chart, the four hour chart, all in great shape. The only warning that remains in play at this stage is the warning of the negative momentum shift on that daily chart. It has not been eradicated. And that is something that could lead to a little bit of a wobble pullback, especially seeing we are getting producer price index data tomorrow morning. A minor pullback, ahead of the next bounce would not be strange, but the trend remains strong and, of course, on the upside. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I look very much forward to seeing you this Saturday. Folks, enjoyed the class that we did yesterday so much that we are doing it again. 
at 10 a.m. Eastern Time this Saturday, February the 17th, I'm going to take you through my approach to an incredibly powerful and straightforward toolkit to help make better decisions on a swing and intraday basis. Simply go to becomebettertrader.com forward slash yes and get your seat now while they last for an incredible follow-up workshop happening right to you on Saturday, February the 17th.